Go one, and call the Jew to the court. Make room. You stand before our face. He has come, my lord. Shylock, the world thinks, and I think so too, that you but leave this fashion of your malice to the last hour of the act. And then, tis thought you'll show your mercy and remorse, more strange than is your strange apparent cruelty. What say you, Joe? We all expect a gentle answer. I have informed your grace of what I purpose. And by our holy Sabbath have I sworn to have the due and forfeit of my bond. If you deny it, let the danger light upon your charter and your city's freedom. You'll ask me why I rather choose to have a weight of human flesh than to receive 3,000 ducats. I'll not answer that, but say it is my humor. Is it answered? What if my house be troubled by a rat? And I am pleased to give 10,000 ducats to have it killed. What? Are you answered yet? Some men there are love not a gaping pig. Some that are mad if they behold a cat. And others, when the bagpipe sings in the nose, cannot contain their urine. For affection, master of passion, sways it to the mood of what it likes or loathes. Now for your answer as there is no firm reason to be rendered why he cannot abide a gaping pig, why he a harmless, necessary cat, why he a woolen bag pipe, but of force must yield to such inevitable shame as to offend himself being offended, so can I give no reason, nor will I not, more than a lodged heat and a certain loathing I bear Antonio that I follow thus this losing suit against him. Are you answered? No! This is no answer. You unfeeling man to excuse the current of your cruelty. I am not bound to please you with my answers. Do all men kill the things they do not love? Oh. Hates any man the thing he would not kill? No. <laughs> Every offense is not a hate at first. Oh. You would have a serpent sting you twice? No! Oh. I pray you, think you question with the Jew. You may as well go stand upon the beach and bid the main flood low at its usual height. <sighs> may as well question with the wolf why he has made the ewe bleat for the lamb. You may as well do anything most hard as seek to soften that. In which what's harder is Jewish heart. Therefore, I do beseech you, make no more offers, use no farther means, but with all just and plain conveniency, let me have judgment and the Jew his will. No! 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 thousand ducats! Here is six. If every ducat in 6,000 ducats were in six parts and every part a ducat, I would not draw them. 
I would have my bond. How shall you hope for mercy, giving none? What judgment should I fear, doing no wrong? You have among you many a purchased slave, which, like your asses and your dogs and mules, you use in abject and in slavish parts because you bought them. Shall I say to you, let them be free? Marry them to your heirs. Why sweat they under burdens? Let their beds be made as soft as yours. Their pallets seasoned with your food. You will answer, the slaves are ours. So do I answer you. The pound of flesh that I demand of him is dearly bought. Tis mine. Tis mine! Tis mine. And I will have it. If you deny me, fire upon your law! <laughs> there is no force in the decrees of Venice. I stand for judgment. Answer. Shall I have it? <laughs> silence! 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 Upon my power, I may dismiss this court, unless Valerio, a learned doctor that I have sent for to determine this, come here today. My lord. He stays without a messenger with letters from the doctor, and you come from Padua. Coming from Padua? From old Valario? From both, my lord. Valario greets your grace. Why do you wet your knife so earnestly? To cut the forfeiture from that bankrupt there. And no prayer, please! No. None that you have wit enough to know. Be you damned! An external dog! For your life, let justice be accused. Till you can rail the seal from off my bond, you but offend your lungs to speak so. Prepare your wits, good youth, or it will fall to cureless ruin. I stand here for law. No! I stand for law! This letter does commend a young and learned doctor to our court. Well, where is he? He attendeth here hard by to know your answer, whether you'll admit him. Go, give him courteous conduct to this place. Meantime, the court shall hear Bellario's letter. Your grace shall understand that at the receipt of your letter, I am very sick. But in the instant your messenger came, there was with me a young doctor of Rome, whose name is Balthazar. He comes at my asking to take my place. I beseech you, let his lack of years be no impediment, for I never knew so young a body with so old a head. I leave him to your gracious acceptance. You heard, Bellario, what he writes. Oh, and here I take it, is the doctor come. You are welcome. Take your place. Are you acquainted with the difference that holds this present question in the court? I am informed thoroughly of the case. Which is the merchant here and which the Jew? Antonio and old Shylock, both stand forth. Is your name Shylock? Shylock is my name. Of a strange nature is a suit you follow, yet in such rule that the Venetian law cannot deny you as you do proceed. You stand within his power, do you not? Aye, so he says. Do you confess the bond? I do. Then must the Jew be merciful. On what compulsion must I? Tell me that. Well, the quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as the gentle rain from heaven upon the place beneath. It is twice blessed. It blesseth him that gives and him that takes. Tis mightiest in the mighty. 
It becomes the throned monarch better than his crown. His scepter shows the force of temporal power, the attribute to awe and majesty, wherein does sit the dread and fear of kings. But mercy is above this sceptered sway. It is enthroned in the heart of kings. It is an attribute to God himself. And earthly power doth then show like his gods when mercy seasons justice. Therefore, Jew, though justice be your plea, consider this, that in the course of justice, none of us should see salvation. We do pray for mercy, and that same prayer doth teach us all to render the deeds of mercy. I have spoke thus much to mitigate the justice of your plea, which if you follow, this strict course of menace must needs give sentence against the merchant there. My deeds upon my head. I crave the law, the penalty and forfeit of my bond. Is he not able to discharge the money? Yes. Here. I tendered it for him in court, yea, twice the sum. If that is not enough, I will be bound to pay it ten times. Oh, on forfeit of my hands, my head, my heart. If this is not enough, it must appear that malice bears down on yes. truth. I beseech you, this once the law to your authority to do a great right, do a little wrong, and curb this cruel devil of his will. It must not be. There is no power in Venice can alter a decree established. But we record it for a precedent, and many an heir of the same example will rush into the state. It cannot be. Hey, Daniel! Come to judgment. Oh, wise young judge, how I do honor you. I pray you let me look upon the bond. Most reverend doctor. Here it is. Shylock, there is twice the money offered you. An oath, an oath. I have an oath in heaven. Shall I lay perjury upon my soul? No, not for Venice. Why, this bond is forfeit. And lawfully at this time that you may claim a pound of flesh to be by him cut off nearest the merchant's heart. Be merciful. Take twice your money. Bid me tear the bond. When it is paid according to the terms. Most heartily I do beseech the court to give the judgment. Then thus it is. You must prepare your bosom for his knife. O oh, noble judge, excellent young man. For the intent and purpose of the law has full relation to the penalty, which here appeareth due upon the bond. Tis very true, a wise and upright judge. How much more elder are you than you look? Therefore lay bare your bosom. Aye, his breast. So says the bond, does it not, noble judge? Nearest the heart. Those are the very words. It is so. Are there balances here to weigh the flesh? I have them. Here. Oh, 
Try some surgeon, Shylock, on your charge, to stop his wounds, lest he should bleed to death. Is it so nominated in the bond? It is not so expressed. But what of that twig good you do so much for charity? I cannot find it. It is not in the bond. You merchant, have you anything to say? Tell her the process of Antonio's end. Say how I loved you. Speak me fair in death. And when the tale is told, bid her be judged whether Bassanio had not once a love. Repent but you that you shall lose your friend. And he repents not that he pays your debt. For if the Jew do cut the deep enough, I'll pay it instantly with all my heart. Antonio, I am married to a wife which is as dear to me as life itself. Life itself, my wife and all the world are not with me esteemed above your life. I would lose all by sacrifice them all here to this devil to deliver you. I have a wife who I protest I love. I would she were in heaven so she could entreat some power to change this cursed Jew. I had a daughter. Would that any of the stock of Barabbas been her husband? rather than a Christian. We trifle time. I pray you, pursue sentence. You may proceed. A pound of that same merchant's flesh is yours. The court awards it, and the law does give it. Most rightful judge. And you must cut this flesh from off his breast. The court awards it, and the law allows it. Most learned judge. A sentence. Come. Prepare. There is something else. This bond does give you here no drop of blood. The words expressly are a pound of flesh. Take then your bond. Take then your pound of flesh. But in the cutting of it, if you do shed one drop of Christian blood, your lands and goods are by the laws of Venice confiscate. And to the state of Venice. Oh, upright judge. Mark Jew. Learn it, judge. Is that a law? Yourself shall see the act. For as you urge on justice, be assured you shall have justice more than you desire.
I take the offer, then. Pay the bond twice, and let the Christian go. Here is the money. Soft. The Jew shall have all justice. No haste. He shall have nothing but the penalty. Therefore, prepare you to cut off the flesh. Shed then no blood, nor cut you less nor more, but just a pound of flesh. If you take more or less than a just pound, be it but so much as makes it light or heavy, in the substance or division of the twentieth part of one poor scruple, nay, if the scale do turn but in the estimation of a hair, you die, and all your goods are confiscated. A second, Daniel. <laughs> now, infidel, I have you on the hip. <laughs> Why just did you pause? Shall I not have even my friends? You shall have nothing but your forfeiture. To be so taken at your peril, Jew. Why did the devil give him good of it? I'll stay, no longer question. Carry to the law has yet another hold on you. It is enacted in the laws of Venice. If it be proved against an alien that by direct or indirect attempts he seek the life of any citizen, the party against which he does contrive shall seize one half of his goods. The other half comes to the privy coffer of the state. And the offender's life lies in the mercy of the Duke only against all other boys. In which predicament I say you stand? Down, therefore. And beg mercy of the Duke. Beg that you may have leave to hang yourself. That you shall see the difference in our spirit. I pardon you your life before you ask it. For half your wealth, it is Antonio's. The other half shall come to the general state. Nay, take my life and all. Pardon, not that. You take my house when you take the prop that doth sustain my house. You take my life when you take the means whereby I live. What mercy can you render him, Antonio? No, oh, hold to grant us nothing else, for God's sake. So please, my lord the Duke, and all the court, forego the fine of one half of his goods. I am content, so he will let me use the other half in trust. Relinquish it upon his death, and to the gentleman that lately stole his daughter. One thing provided more that for this favor, he shall presently become a Christian. He shall do this, or else I do recant the pardon I late pronounce it here. Are you contented, Jew? What do you say? Oh. <coughs> Clark, prepare a deed of gift. I pray you give me leave. 
to go from it. Hey, I'm not well. I will send a deed after me. I will sign. Get your gun then, but do it. <laughs> 